Hello dear everyone, I am doing a uh, impromptu bonus boost drill session which you are all invited to join everyone who is in this Kalida online group. This is a little taste of what we are working on right now in boost. I Last year I did this more often, this year I kind of forgot because time went so fast. So welcome, welcome to my living room, welcome to our boost boost bonus video. Boosties, if you see this later, this will be added to your boost package so you have a little drill with the movement that we are working on right now to practice and to see all the things you can do with this movement. So you will need a sip of water, have that now, your body, two fan veils, or you can just use your arms or fans or yoga blocks even to practice without fans if you don't have them. Hi, hi, let me know if you are there. I will warm up, re-warm up until my boosties find me because I kind of ended the Zoom session. So what I'm doing, shoulders back and bending both knees. So join in if you like for a little bit of movement. I just bet you made it. One, two, and I'm pulling my elbow behind me. Shoulder, shoulder, elbow. As you can see, I'm rotating my rib cage and exhaling to help the movement. One, two. You will need this as a base. I'm glad it worked. <laughs> one, two, three, and one, two. I'll show you from the back. Hi, Johanna. One, two, and your elbow goes, elbow goes over and back. One, two, my rib cage helps. One, two, over a hill and back. One, two, over a hill and back. Turn out the legs slightly so you can help with the hips. Doing a little figure eight, figure eight, elbow and back. Figure eight, figure eight, elbow and back. Figure eight, figure eight, elbow and back. This is also some bonus movements you can do to open up range of motion holding my hand here for this movement if you don't have time for a full warm-up or the full boost session you can do this I'm holding my hand on my clavicle ah, this gives the joint a sense of safety and it opens up a tiny bit more movement there yes let's do two more one two I can hear it crackle on one side and last one on each side one Two, and one, two, and go. Hi, Anna. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Let's sling the arms around our hips. One, two, last one. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. So what we are doing here is um, a bonus video for my boosties, which will go to the boost package, but it's open to everyone, so you can have a little taste of what we're working on right now. <laughs> Our movement of the week is the double flip. Double flip. And if you have a veil, it's looked like this. It looks like this. Excuse me, my fan veils. I have all my props here, so I don't have to, just so I don't have to iron them again and again. So we worked on a veil move which I learned from Aziza. It looks like this. And it's a beautiful transition for turns. You can also do this from the front. And this we worked on at Boost during Veil. Remember, if you have fan veils, aha, you can do the same movement also. And that's also one of my favorite transitions. So what I do is I bring one fan to the back and this one I bring up, like here. So my, both my arms are up, one fan is back. That's how I start. And then I rotate my upper body. I keep six hours of time difference between my arms, so the silk doesn't um, get tangled. And I do a little, a little bounce and twist, bounce and twist. Then I let my arms whew, relax. So it's arm, body, arm, body, arm, body. The only movement that's happening is this. Let me show you the other side. 
It's like a slow motion flutter. Back, front, back, front. So I'm not going all the way down. I'm not going all the way back. It's more from diagonal here towards my ear. We worked on range of motion for this boost to here. That's all you need. So I'm doing thumb a bit back to thumb a bit front. So I'm also doing that here and here. So the fan goes like that and my arm goes like that. So it's a bit of this and a bit of this. Hope that makes sense. Let's warm up the other arm for the same. I also try to connect. I use my wrist, as you can see here, to connect the fan to my arm. If it's behind me, my thumb is rotated back, my pinky goes towards my ear. And if I let the windshield come front, I also rotate my lower arm. So I'm doing from this to this, from this to this. A little bit back, a little bit front, a little bit back, a little bit front. This is what happens with the fan when my arm is in front. And my arm is in front because my body turns. I'm not doing this with my arms. I'm moving my body and I'm doing a little, a little push. And once you are in motion, it becomes easier. Does that make sense? And look, from a simple arm movement or body movement that looks a bit strange with no fans, you can have, ooh, you can have a beautiful, gorgeous transition move where the silk moves around you infinity and then if you tilt your hips back a bit and rotate the upper body it's like the silk goes around the body completely and this is the movement to the side and with the body tilt that we will dance with here as a bonus drill video okay let's do this let's see i'm taking 10 minutes of drilling so you can skip the intro if you are already warm have two fans Body. Let's just I'm doing a little flutter to warm up my lower arms, bringing it up and down, up and down. Now slow down that flutter. That's what will be happening on top. Now bring both up, both down, both up, both down. Now keep it. Here, just flip, just flip. Slow motion flipping, that's what will be happening. Now only one, and one, with a twist, with a twist, with a twist. From the side, so my upper body, even my hips are moving, and then I soften, and then you're in it. Rotate more, rotate more to slow it down. Rotate more to slow it down. Rotate less for quicker. Now pull one arm all the way back, all the way back, all the way back. Tilt your hips back, slide your hips back, and rotate, rotate, rotate. Cross the legs, and boom, you have a bell turn. Okay, that's the first first song. Let's do that again. Same music. So we're drilling up the up variation. Before in class we did this, the water, arms low. To bring the veils up, it's air. So this video is about the air variation. Let's get it started. If you get stuck, slow it down. If you get truly stuck, both veils, one veil in front, and then rotate your body. Rotate your body. Yes. I'm doing a little plie to make it more great. Or a sting to make the veils catch attention. Let's step out. Step out. Step out. Step. Stay here. Plie. I'm going to front plie. Again, let's 
Bring the chest in front so the girls go around you. Cross one leg, I'll slow it down. Cross the leg and sneaky barrel turn. And now, slow it down and flutter. Again, small. Let it be it. Big one with a flutter. Big one with a flutter. Small with clear. Big. Big flutter. Big one with a flutter. Cross the legs and around. Very nice. Okay. Shake it out. Let's do one more song slowly so you can see the slow variation of this movement. As you can see at my face, I'm very enthusiastic about this movement because it helps me with uh, transitions in all of my dances with fan veils. And if you can do this with fan veils, you can do it with veil. It might help you do that other tricky move. Yes. Okay, so now totally different, but similar. We'll use it as a transition move and very slow switch. So to relax the arms, let's go around like water, hands below. And because we have time, you can also use your head. This is nothing, only arms, also beautiful. And here I follow a little. So give me a different atmosphere. Cross the legs and bring the arms up. And around. Up and around. Like you would do with a veil. Now open the fans. A little gentle flutter. if your fans are long so the sun doesn't get tangled a bit quicker and a level change come up again slow down flutter okay let's now keep both fans up and turn switch 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 and cross. Switch, switch, switch and cross. Switch, switch, switch and cross. Okay, come back. I'm going towards the front. There. And that's it. That's a little practice drill for the double flip. If you like this movement, Enjoy it, use it, um, it's the best movement to do before you start a turn. Because then the silks will have all the air and time in the world. Okay, okay. Let me close the music. That's it from me. A little bonus video. So boosties, you will get this in your package on Friday. Non-boosties, enjoy this. This is a little taste. If you want to study with me next year, you can. There will be another 36 week series of boost coming up creativity edition is for 2022 we will have still strength mondays relaxation tuesdays we did relax our arms today and uh, on fridays we dance if you cannot join it live you will have all the videos forever whichever <laughs> whichever uh, topic you like you can repeat it as much as you want and we will have three seasons again first season three months or 12 weeks of intros working with props for an intro, without props, on stage, off stage, how I like to present myself, leg work and turns, that's all in our next season of Boost. After that we'll do, thank you so much Linda, uh, season two, which will be in spring, will be all about the belly of the dance. So we'll have belly work, taxim, slow movements, but also folklore, anything that's in the middle of a dance and how I use different rhythms, different atmospheres and transitions between them to make a dance interesting, different moods, and how you can, with whatever technique you have, whatever skill you have now, how you can use that to make dances interesting. And then 
end of next year already would be fall winter we will have a lasting impression and that's how you can uh, complete the dance or make something memorable of uh, your performances or if you are not um, someone who makes dances but someone who takes classes it will help you understand choreographies from your teachers better so it's easier to follow them and you understand what they mean so you can put more of your personality and joy into it so it will be drum solo finales um, maybe floor work anything anything else power poses that i love to do to complete a dance to make a dance feel complete and to give a lasting positive impression okay that's it little taste of boost i almost forgot i'm so happy i remembered next week last week of boost 2021 already i'll be back in this group for uh, rhythms and dance samai beginning of november and um, yes i'll see you soon boosties see you friday and love you all thank you so much bye bye